All right, we got some good packages going on here. Two of the almost the same couple shock variations. These are the lift kits for old red and old pearl white. I believe the next one is coming off right about... Okay, it'll, it'll get off. Keep that thing on the fourth one. That's the fourth list operator cap. Certified. Oh, it's damp. I don't like a fing damp cardboard box. I'm doing it, bro. Oh, man. Damn, he stepped on the boxes, huh? Got some footprints. California footprints. Sturdy box. Yeah, yeah. Those fing things. Get one of these around. I've actually never done a vehicle with polished shocks or chrome shocks, chrome resin. I've seen it hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. But it's gonna be hitting better than normal 2.5s, which have that just normal aluminum feel to them. It does look something a little different, so old Geo's coming back. Everything's going to powder today traction bars, lift kits, etc., tie runs, diff covers, whole lot, whole lot of heavy metal. YouTube certification. Gee. But the sticker's not even straight. Yeah, that's smart man. Yeah. <laughs> he got money. Oh. He's, dude, dude. <laughs> He's I got the cold cuts for lunch for the rest of my life. <laughs> See, the craziest thing is everybody's complaining about like markers and people stealing it. I put them back. Everyone just takes mine. See that kid right there? Oh, that kid is the king of taking markers and just losing them up his butt cheeks. Oh, look, oh, look, oh, that's oh, how many. Oh, look at him. Uh, GoFundMe, link in bio. Link in bio, <laughs> GoFundMe. Shout out the lab GoFundMe for the mechanics. Uh, we need a marker relief fund. Shout out to Milwaukee. Ben, yeah, Ben, ben I know send you us 10,000 markers. So we'll lose them all next week. Thing. Prepping everything since it's all dusty right now. Um, get the chrome delete done on this truck. That's about it. Just window trim for this one. I still have it. There ain't nothing there. I want to be able to go. Still do that. It's long enough. It's the first time I've heard that. This isn't really the best knife to be using. It's pretty blunt, but <laughs> it gets the job done. All right. So we got giveaway wheels. These are the Frost SFCCs. They are 24 by 14s. These are my box right now. I like the ocean. Low tide like the ocean, dude. <laughs> or something else, but I can't say that on film. You gotta make sure you use a lot of lubrication. I'm guessing around 28 to 30 PSI it's gonna seat. Right now we're at 12. Let's see. Come on, that's the last part right there. There it goes. Oh, 33, 33. A little off. Orangey. Orangey. What do you think? What are these? Those are off the R8. I gotta take them off so they can go to powder. Nice. All right. This one's good. I'm gonna wipe it down. Thank you. It's like Christmas filled with presents. What we 
do is in all our all our vehicles and customers, if they have a uh, they have a rubber valve stem, what we do is when we do tires, change them out with the uh, extra like aluminum uh, Bartek sensors. So we do the the Bartek sensor with the Bartek stem. So just uh, this stem's a little sturdier than the rubber, just in case anything happens, you can't really f it up. And also, what I like about these sensors is that it has a nut cap on top, so you can tighten it and make sure that it can never fall out. Just a little extra sense of security. That ain't going anywhere. Last one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes, sir. Didn't even have to use the bead press. I put a little pressure down on the bottom bead just so the tire's on it, so when you put air into it, it seats. So really, the only thing you have to worry about is the top bead. So uh, 31. 31. Okay, let's stick to. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go 28. There she goes. You're at 30. Did you say 31? <laughs> I see. I said 31. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> Just firing up the balancer. We're gonna get all four of these balanced, ready to go to mount on the truck. <laughs> I need what? Intermission for a second, I gotta get up there. Yeah, they're there. Then you get the inner fenders. What do you need? Inner fenders. Better buy some. You better get the f off. They're not up there. <laughs> yeah, right there. My geek get up there. Dude, I can't read. Dude, I can't eat. Is that a new shirt? Yeah, dude. OG. That says so, life's yeah. too short when you're driving the wrong way. Bubba, bubba, what? Get down, get down. <laughs> when you're driving the wrong <laughs> way is crazy. <laughs> life's too short when Bubba drives. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if it's overheating or the wine. Huh? Yeah, it like keeps shutting off. But it's a brand new battery. I mean, it is hot as hell. Huh? That's crazy. Yeah, it's just Getting ready to do some rock lights. So we are installing 16 total underneath in the inner fenders and also along the body. Now I'm getting set up with the bumper stand so I can put the, uh, the inner fenders on it. I'm gonna start there first. We're doing two each. After those are done, just work my way down with the truck on the body and get them all wired up. Yeah, dude, that's what you want. This is a submarine? It's a U-boat? <laughs> it's a U-boat, it's a <laughs> boat. It's a <laughs> thug. <laughs> Don't do your recording. <laughs> yeah. Now what we'll do is we just get some wire loom, go over this, use some electrical tape, tape it up, make it look nice, and uh, they'll be ready to put on. I've heard this song like nine times. I hear it another three or four. <laughs> What time was it? 2.58. <laughs> <laughs> Another eight more. <laughs> so the powder just came in for red truck. It is a show-off 4-6 to six kit. Pretty much standard what comes with it. All the drop cross members, drops for the front diff, new spindles, new UCAs, which I don't see anywhere. Who has the UCAs for this? Logan. Logan has UCAs for this. this I'm just show. saying. Also, we, the other thing is we didn't powder the UCAs. We painted oh, it's like this super, powder. It's the super chrome. Yeah, 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 Two hours later. Yeah, yeah Logan has UCAs. Yeah. Um, that's to get cut. Can I just yeah. make a square? Not. No, it's not a square. It's like a. It's like a triangle. Just gonna hit that. I gotta make a template. I really need to make a template. Wire and wire, wire and more wire. We're getting there. 
Uh, this side's pretty much all set. I gotta do the passenger side. And uh, then after that, kind of hook everything up, run the switch to, to turn them on. And uh, we should have light. So, a little bit longer. Just keep, keep light. <laughs> we just got the wiring all set up for the rock lights. One thing I have to do uh, when the truck comes down, we're on the lift kit right now. But uh, once we get the lift on, put it down on the ground, I can access the door because it's on the lift right now. It's kind of hard to get in there. But I can run the wire up into the cab for the switch for the rock lights. And then we can put everything back together. <laughs> Get those angles. Should I bend over a little more for you? What are you doing back here? I am draining the driftwood so we can put the new cover on. Sus for the PPF guys. Installation gel? Yeah, well, okay, Andy. All right. <laughs> That's some weird Dang, dude. You almost hit the ceiling with that one. You almost took down those. You look like you're ready to work with them things, huh? They don't even turn off. Chevy does it. They've been doing it for f***ing years and they haven't came up with a different idea. I'm tired, Grandpa. Well, that's too damn bad. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. Well, excuse me. <laughs> I don't know why the f*** Mike would even use this. He's like, oh yeah, you can just use this. It's, it's, it's slipping on the wax. Hey, Mark. On what parallel universe does he think this cuts like butter? Uh, I'm going back to my way. <laughs> right now, what I am doing is for the Cognito lift kit, you need to put a new cross member up right here for the, uh, the transfer case. So what you have to do is you have to cut off this much so you're cutting off a good chunk of it. So when the, the new brace comes up, it has these already built into it and it's a little bit lower for the lift. So uh, gotta cut them, sand them, paint them, and then uh, we're gonna work our way to the front, do a little bit right here off the bottoms, just for the uh, lower control arms. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it for fabrication. Oh, one little cut up in here on this cross member for the, uh, the fins on the... Uh, This is, this is why we don't get anything done. <laughs> what are you doing? You look like an alien with that on your head, dude. Zoom in on that. Zoom in on the, the placement. <laughs> shot. So shot. <laughs> so, yeah, a little more fabrication. And uh, after that, we'll start being able to put the lift together and get this thing on the ground. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up.
All right, guys, it was a long weekend, but the truck is 95% uh, complete. We just got to throw the wheels on. i um, waiting on a few things from powder to come back. They should be back very soon. So we'll get those on and uh, get all together and get some shots for you. Mm. What I have to do now is we have to... So these are uh, Kelderman caps. What they do is they take place of the OEM caps in the rear where the mud flaps are. What we have to do is we have to go in back here. Uh, there's a bracket we have to take out. We have to notch a little bit of this back just so it clears. We have to cut a little bit of this off. This is driver's side, but uh, it mounts right up to here and looks nice and flush instead of having a big cap that comes down like the OEMs. <laughs> up this side as you can see nice clean installation so uh looks a lot better than the oem because the oem ones they like those so they hang pretty far. yeah pretty far but uh so, so next side on to the next side Ben clean. wheels do those sparks not burn your face oh they do they do i got i got marks on my arms on my face yeah, just, it just you just learn to take it after a while <laughs> i mean you gotta be a man you gotta get tough boy yeah. I, I eat the sparks for breakfast Plate can't go in. I can't get it to fit with these inserts on. Oh it. no, I got my knife. There's no know. way in hell I'm gonna. You know what I did? I'm taking this off and put them on. Drop these You know what you do? Yeah, you do that. And then you put it in and underneath. Then you, yeah. And, and then you slide it one way, you slide the yeah. other way, you slide it in the middle. Yeah. Next thing you know, you. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yo, I found them. <laughs> And Where were they? Oh, uh, they were in a box over there with some of the other powdered stuff. These are the cognito brackets for the upper control arms, and then one larger one for the front cross member. You have to put the plate in first and then put the inserts yeah. in after. Oh. You gotta finger it a little bit. You gotta push them back on once the plate's in. That's terrible. Uh, she was in the SVJ, Sam was in the SF90, I was in the Urus, the Performante. And we're coming home on the highway and we're cruising, G zips off, whatever. Sam like skates ahead. I end up trying to catch up to Sam and do the, there's just like a stady on the highway. So then I go by him and then I stop next to Sam and dude, we get lit up. I'm like, oh sh not again. So then uh, Sam slows over and pulls over to the side. I just stay in the fast lane. I'm like, I'm chilling here. I'm not moving. So then he gets out from behind and gets next to me and rolls the window down. He's like, I know you have a fast car. Slow it down or I'm going to take it. And I just gave him a thumbs up and we just kept right. He shut his lights off and kept going. Wow. You got lucky. See it now? Yeah, Sam, I didn't see him in the slow lane, bro. Buck 30. No, he's sitting right there. If that was me, I would have got yanked out of the car, got the kicked out of you right then and there, dude. I was texting Sam like, yo, they're gonna they're gonna take me to jail. Like, just call G and tell him they're gonna take the car. Yeah, tell G to get bail. Like, tell him, just call G out. Yo, he gonna take care of me. Yo, I guess someone's gotta show him to work. Gotta pick me up. I ain't going back. Mike's got I'm not used to sure. Mike Mike needs uh what's that jail program they send all those bad kids to? Excuse me, well we got a we got a burp and a little bit of chalky milk. <laughs> but uh putting uh, the skate plate on right now, just put the insert in and the front cross member so I can you know hold it up. After that, just need to uh, grab the tow hooks, install them, and then uh, drop this thing on the ground. We got the side step, so this is truly the last piece of the puzzle. We just gotta put the caps on, LEDs, put the LEDs together. I have LEDs. Them here. These are this is the black trim for it. Yes.
finishing up the uh, the amp steps right now. We uh, put all the LEDs back in. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the brackets up to there, then put these on, make sure they're aligned, and uh, hook power up to them, drop on the ground, and uh, just see all the lights. Let's go. Oh, we good? Oh. Okay, yeah, now roll it. Roll it up. Here we go. Ooh. I got four feet, all right. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. It looks really good. With all the amber, you got the amber really lights, good. the amber door handles. Got the rock lights, of course. Come down here, you can see all the see all the powder. Everything's lit up. You can see all the red. It's, uh, it's gonna look a lot better in a little while once Bubba goes through and gives it a little bath. Yeah, she done. Minus the steps, gonna do those right now just because it's out of the lift posts so we don't hit them. And uh, we'll back this thing out. So, hold up. I'm gonna wanna try to lay down. So you can see. Yep. Now just uh, bring, bring it towards you. It has to go towards the, the front. Mine's in. Well, you have to slide the whole thing down. Um, yep, keep going, keep going. Tow hooks. The legitimate oh, wow. last piece. I'm I keep saying the last yeah. piece, bro. I thought the steps were. I didn't realize these weren't on there. That's so sick. It's just the red. Some just this setup, this wheel and tire setup with this lift. It's just the perfect route, perfect route to go if you guys are looking for something that's practical and not, you know, 20 feet tall. God damn, this shit is like. I love that saran wrap, huh? Yeah, I know. It <laughs> rips up. That's a nice smooth surface, you see. I don't know which one's which. Uh, That's it, right? That's it. Um, last thing I just need to do is uh, grab an impact gun, set the, uh, the torsion keys so they sit one inch higher than the rear, and then after that.